Financial News Network. TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, folks. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live from the shores of, uh, well, sunny Delray Beach, Florida. This is your 9 a.m. update. And currently, we take a look at the equity futures uh, mixed bag. You've got the Dow futures trading down 200 points. The NASDAQ is trading up 83. The S&P is down 8. The Russell 2000 down 24 points. You've got the spot volatility which is trading above its 50-day exponents moving average. It's trading out at 18.58. The 50-day exponents moving average is currently printed at 17.61. If price closes above that at the end of the uh, day, that is a suggestion to you and I that the ES mini should move lower and uh, move. Uh, but that that's, a, you know, look at that for the end of the day. Right now, you've got gold up two bucks, silver's off three pennies, platinum's down 18 bucks. You've got lights we crude off 231, 7612. Let's go take our nine panel market update chart. We begin by taking a look at that ES mini. So I mentioned that spot volatility, which is right next to it. If it closes above 1761 and you see that uh, the ES mini is consolidating with inside its daily profile, that really sets up a likely move down to the bottom of that profile at 4635. What happens if the spot volatility closes below 1761? Well, what the ES Mini needs to do to generate some kind of breakout is close above 4711. That's the top of its daily profile. That'll also negate some topping signals. The NQ negated topping signals yesterday. Those were at 16448, prices above that level. So it now needs a new topping signal in order to generate a, uh, a, a, a short term top. Um, a pattern out there. We don't have that in place. The U.S. dollar index is A to B equals CD to the upside. A bearish reversal candle would confirm a sell the D point. Price is trading right up into resistance. That's the top of its very structured profile. 96.02. We're trading at 95.99 right now. If price were to close above 96.02 today, that tells you about a move to 96.81 or higher. and would also tell you about the strength inside the U.S. dollar index. Gold holding up pretty well. We have to be careful about its bearish structured profile, meaning a close below 1851.20 which suggests to move back to the 1813 level. Silver looks very bullish here. Support has held. Lightspeed crude is trading below a key swing point at 77.23. A close below that suggests lower price. Natural gas is holding its own, which is key support, uh, which was uh, generated by a buy the D point pattern out there at 4.725. And the 30 year treasury traded right up into resistance. That's at 162.07. Resistance is in the range, 162.07 to 163.04. Folks, have a fantastic Friday. Stay tuned. Tom Tommy O'Brien is up next. We've got great programming all day. Be safe out there. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll see you on Monday at 1 o'clock.